October is Sudden Cardiac Arrest Awareness Month, and Tiffany, you've been researching heart disease and the impact that it has on outlying communities. I told you last month people who live in rural communities are more likely to develop heart disease and have a higher risk of stroke compared to people who live in urban areas. But this morning, I want to take things a step further. When it comes to cardiac arrest, the American Heart Association says overall those deaths have dropped significantly in the U.S., but black and rural communities have not seen the same rate of decline it's stories like the one I'm sharing with you this morning that doctors hope will help all of us recognize the signs and be ready to take action. This would have been the location of when I had the second cardiac arrest. There are moments that can change the direction of your life. For these two, their paths crossed at a critical time. It was in November of 2022. The pain in my chest was definitely at this point raging. It's a challenge, but it's also one of my greatest privileges. By the time Dr. Mito Mayuga saw Corey Lowry at University Hospital's Portage Medical Center, his heart had stopped twice and had to be shocked both times to beat again. Once on the ambulance ride to the hospital and then again as he was wheeled into the doors of this ER. But that wouldn't be the last time he'd go into cardiac arrest. It happened twice while Dr. Mayuga and her team tried to remove the blockage. Dr. Mayuga even said that one of the times almost fell off the table. Was there ever a point you thought you might lose him? Yes, there was definitely a time where I thought um, I was thinking we have to move as quickly as we can, otherwise he may pass. Dr. Mayuga says these days they are seeing heart attacks and cardiac arrest happen in younger and younger people. According to the American Heart Association, a heart attack happens when blood flow that brings oxygen to the heart muscle is severely reduced or cut off completely. Oh, heart attacks can sometimes cause cardiac arrest but not all cardiac arrests are caused by heart attacks. Cardiac arrest happens without warning. The heart stops. It can happen in anybody at any time. It happened to Dr. Mayuga's grandfather in a hospital back when she was a medical student. And I was the person who had to let the team know that it was okay to stop the CPR and he eventually passed. And um, I will always be thankful for that team and for everything that they did for my grandfather. It was one of the reasons she became a cardiologist, doing everything she can for her patients like Corey. Today, at the age of 53, he's lost 40 pounds, is eating healthier, exercising more, and now working at UH Harrington Heart and Vascular Institute in Portage County. If what happened to me only benefits me, then it's not entirely, but if it will feel pretty close to being a waste. I want what happened to me to, to help other people. Well, statistics show only 10% of people who experience cardiac arrest survive. So Corey is a miracle. He wrote a book about his experience. It's called I Was Arrested. It's in the gift shop at the hospital, and you can find it on Amazon. Dr. Mayuga says it's important we all learn high-quality CPR to help save someone's life. Now, when it comes to rural communities like Portage County and Heart Health, UH has a program called Food for Life. Doctors and hospital employees donate money or food, and it's available to patients who qualify. It allows them to have access to healthy fruits and vegetables, which could help lead to better cardiac outcomes. And when I think about Corey and his incredible story, he is thankful to everyone that day who helped him get to this point. We're talking about the, the 911 operator, the people in the ambulance, so many people. And he tells people like, right, if you feel something, if something feels off, mm -hmm. don't dismiss it. That's what he did originally. Yeah. And then he finally got the help he needed. So many times with stories like this, it's people saying, listen to your body, mm -hmm. listen to your body. And I think it's also wonderful, too, when people have something like that happen to them and then they want to pay it forward. Yes. That it was a gift bigger beyond themselves. Yes, absolutely yeah. love that. Great and remember story. to learn CPR, too. Yes.